Welcome to Dogman Homestead. My name is Mike and we are out here not so early, probably close to nine. Uh, but you know, I gotta start plugging away at this. I started this project too late. I knew it was gonna be, you know, I didn't wanna come into summer with it, but it's here and it's gonna be hot from here on out to the next couple of months. So I gotta do what I can every day. Today, I wanna build this door. Get that on and get this top part, try to try to get to that to where I can get this uh, bug proof. What they're doing now, they're coming in and they're getting trapped in here and they're just clinging to the street, uh, screen. So I need to get it fully enclosed uh, and do whatever I can. You know, I got a, I went to town yesterday, bought a nice fan, pretty good size fan. So it'll help, you know, move around some air. That's the biggest thing. There's no, I mean, there's no breeze, nothing. So, but the heat's gonna be, it's here for a while and there's nothing I can do about it. Tomorrow, the insulation will be here for the dog apartment. So I should be able to, <laughs> yeah, they heard. I should be able to work in there in the air conditioning while I'm doing that. So we'll peck away at it a little bit at a time, see what we can get done. I've got my, let me turn you around here. I've got the tent set back up. Uh, no threat of rain, I think, till Sunday. Then we're gonna get a few days, like 89, 87, but... <laughs> but anyway, I need to get this door built. The bottom will have T111, like down here. And I need to make it in a way where you just can't, you know, if somebody wants in, all I gotta do is bust through one of these screens. But, you know, I'm not gonna keep it, uh, anything valuable in here. Uh, can't worry about that. Just gotta get this thing built. So, at least I've got some cover there. I've got to fix this uh, canopy. These things are just cheap, you know. What they're mostly made for is if you're going to have a picnic or something, you can just set it up and then you got to take it back down. They're not intended to leave up, especially here in Arkansas, because they're no match for the weather here. So anyway, I'm going to get started and uh, we'll let you know. If you can't think of a song, a good doody do. Always comes in handy. Let's put the door together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pre drill this dude. You know, if you're building a door, you should sing the doors. Right here in the
back, man. Second side will go a lot easier. I hope. Just gotta make sure everything is lined up and good and straight on the door. My little square, I have not seen that thing. I sure could use it. I'll square it up when I get the other side on. Sometimes these these uh, impacts are too powerful. So I pre-drill the holes even though it's treated. It's still split. on bracing it up. This is where the square has to be found. I do got the big one. Oh man, my back hurts today. Alright guys. I got this thing in the wrong spot. I keep busting my head on it. bottom and we'll have the T111 on it. Alright, there's that square. Do a fit here. I fit. Close on our measurements. I 
and there's a cord sticking up and I am leaving that board in there but to act as a threshold you know uh, I think it would compromise the strength of this wall if I was to cut it out and it's not necessary to cut it out so dimensions are exactly the same all the way down so it's all concerned. One of these got cut too big. Alright, let me see here. I don't want it that tight. Room at the top. Why is it sticking? Alright, pull her back out. Measure it again. Ow! I should have 30 three quarters. See, I hit my head on that. 30 and, ah, oh, 31 and three quarters. Is that what I had in mind? Yep, I'm an inch too big. <laughs> oh, my math. Alright, pull it back apart. Alright, pretty easy fix. What happened was these two, I needed all three of these to be 27 and 3 quarters and somehow this one got cut at 28 and 3 quarters. So these two are right. But all I really got to do is take the top one off, cut an inch off and put her back on. And that's why it was so tight in one spot and not another. It happens. We'll cut an inch off. Put her back on. Old McDonald, he had a fun. Well, that had me going. I'm like, I know my measurements went that off. Oh, and I have to redo that screen. Y'all see that? Ruined it. Oh, maybe I should have stayed in bed today. Right, let's put this thing on the side. Darn, that was good and tight, too. Probably too tight. Now, I'm going to turn y'all off to get this thing back together. Just created more work for myself. Look at this. Put a hole in it. Yep, gotta redo it. Alright, we got one door. I gotta put some hinges on it. I want it to open inward. I think, I don't know. I didn't mean, want it outward. Uh, yeah. Probably want to open it outward. Have the hinges. Let me see. Yeah, have it open that way. And I've got enough gaps here. I'll deal. It's a screen door, you know, for a screen patio. So it don't have to be perfect. I match the bottom that it's going all the way around here. This will be screened. I'll probably screen it before I put the door on. I think that would be easier than having a because it, it's going to be flimsy trying to do the spline. So I'll go ahead and screen it. And oh, uh, we will see. 
then again, I got to be on my hands and knees doing it. I don't want to do that. So I can brace it with something, screw a board to hold it to keep it from pushing back. So I'll just go ahead and screen it while it's standing. So now I'll go ahead and put some hinges on it and uh, come back and show you that we maybe move on to something else. With this fan, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, and that sun hasn't, it's quite, once it's over and gone, it should be a little better, I hope. But it's going to heat up to like 97 today. Some bin somewhere in the shed or over the loft, I don't know. So, all right, let me uh, let me get this hinged up. I'm gonna do it off camera because I want this fan blasting on. All right, the way I'm doing this, I took a uh, two by four, two by six, and the two shims that I used to fit the door, and I set them out there so that we got the same level. And uh, now I'm doing. Use the screws they provide with the uh, hinges. They're never long enough. Use an inch and a quarter section. Right. Three more in. See how she opens and closes. And I may have to do little adjustments. But it's uh, looking dead on actually. chicken facilities at the ranch I worked at so got pretty good at building doors. Alright, moment of truth. If we get lucky the first time we'll be cool. Alright, open it up. Reach that out. And I need to find a spring for it. And there we have her folks. It's a little uneven though. So I'll do some adjusting. Actually, it's even. It's a bigger gap than I wanted. Uh, that's fine. We'll figure something out. Uh, yeah, I didn't account for how 
height the hinges are going to make it over here. That's all right. We can open. Nice heavy duty door. Stops right there where it needs to. Uh, I'll figure this out. And then it's going to have the screen tight, so we kind of do want a little bit of a gap. Good enough. It's a screen patio, man. All right. All right. I added like a half inch piece of cedar here. This lumber, that the last batch I got, it's like didn't go through the sawmill right, and it's got a big ridge on the side of it. So I shave that off. I'm gonna have to get my plane or my sander out. It's catching a little right here where this bad ridge is. I shaved off some with a pocket knife, but once I sand that, this thing will shut nice. It's only catching right here. Right in there, and I can see, I can feel the ridge right in there. Uh, you can't get good lumber anymore, man, but they're getting top dollar for it. So, and I know I can make that work, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the screen on now. And I'll rescreen that later. It's getting hot, man. Ooh. Here's a good example of what I'm talking about. It's like they didn't have the saw blade cut or down deep enough. See that big ridge on there? Yep. Lousy lumber, man. I'll have to get that cut before I even put the screen on. All right. All right. We doing a screen. Let me try to explain it. <laughs> I don't care who you say. I got a board stuck in there to hold this thing while I do the splain. All right. There's our door. I can't get back far enough to get a better shot of it. Uh, you can put a handle on it. I was able to screw through this just fine. Uh, like I say, I'm going to plane that down. This thing will close perfectly when I'm done with it. And once we get this all painted and trimmed out, it's going to look good. So we got that accomplished today. I'm not going to get to this, I bet. I don't know. I may come out later. And I'm going to go take a break. Uh, Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. Uh, hit the notifications. I'll try not to bother you at 2 in the morning, but I've done it. I have. All right, man. We're going to get out of here. Let's, uh, let's go peek in on the babies real quick. All right. Let's go see how they're enjoying their air conditioning. Waldo in the dark corner. How come, how come Lily's not in here? Come on, Lily. Too hot to be out there. Come on, you want to come in? Yeah. All right. People want to see you. Enjoy it. Boy, it's cool in here. Yeah, you're not even patting, are you, boy? Yeah. Lily, you going to stay out? Yeah, it's hard for you to walk on this stuff. You need to get on your bed, girl. Waldo knows how to get on the bed. I think during the day, though, the concrete's nice and cool. They like to lay on it. Yeah. And tomorrow, I'm being here working with you guys, putting the installation up. The installation. Yeah. And it's going to get real cool. And then we're going to fix that door. I need to make it a little bigger. See Lily going through? I don't want them to have to punch through there like that, especially when they're getting older. So I'm going to raise that up a little higher. All right, guys. Happy trails.